And that's going to have to come from the local people, that's, that service. So all we can do is coordinate it and keep up what we're doing. Uh, because when you have something that works and it's successful, you have to keep doing it. You can't change and go do something else. So everything that we're going to do to expand in India, or expand our preaching and expand our influence, we're going to do by delegating uh, the additional functions to other people, universities or other organizations. Like, for example, the uh, Prashadam distribution program. Wherever we settle, we want to find one nice local temple and sponsor them to organize you know, cooking the prashadam and, and distributing to local people who have a need. And then we're, we're going to put this on our website very prominently you know, to, to sponsor a family in India. And these, you know, the, we'll have the temple people will pick the families who get the vouchers. We'll print up vouchers, you know, nice little tickets. And uh, you have to have a ticket to come in the meal. And we only have, uh, you know, how many tickets we print up is depending on how many sponsorships people donate. And then all the money will be used for food. We're not going to use, we're not going to take any administrative costs or anything. It's going to go directly for uh, prashadam distribution, and uh, the local temple will manage it. So they'll know who is really in need and who really deserves to have access to the program. It's not going to just be like any anybody, because we see sometimes in India, people who can actually afford food will take advantage of the prashadam distribution, and then that, that means that other people who aren't so fortunate get locked out, because there's, you know, we're not planning anyway on having a big, huge program, just a small local program. So that should go to the people who really, really need it. Uh, but it, of course, what that's going to do is make it possible for us to buy large amounts of food in, in you know, like restaurant quantities, you know, a bag at a time of uh, the necessities of life, and feed our monks and so on very cheaply. So we're going to do everything that we can to synergize all these programs and get everything to work together to get the maximum benefit or the maximum. And of course, we measure benefit in terms of spiritual things, not material things. So it's, it's not so much the quantity, but the quality of the programs that, that we are uh, trying to increase. Uh, we don't care if we have a big organization or big, you know, community or like that, but we want it to be really sweet and really nice. And everyone is uh, having a very good experience. That's our measure, like that. So let's see, I guess, are there any questions or discussion about any of this? Any issues or? Devesh, pass, oh. Swati, you have the mic there already, so you might as well. Oops. Whatever. Babaji, uh, do you already have uh, talks going on with the universities in India? Yes, Indira is doing that. And she's already talking with Prist University. And then uh, who's Janaka Rajan? What, what is he? He's IIT, isn't he? IIT. He was, yeah, he's also talking to IIT. But he was a, actually, oh no, he's oh, a, his brother. A director. He's a director. He right. was at the Board of Education director. That's it. So um, he has more university connections and college connections. And then he also so, is. Uh, his son is a professor his in IIT. His son is the IIT, right. But he also owns a college, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he owns college and he also runs a schooling, a residential school as well. Mm -hmm. So um, he. That's what is the original proposal. He's going to take you to a few colleges and few universities mm -hmm. and then uh, uh, go from there. Which yeah. universities and which colleges gives a response. Yeah. So Srila Prabhupada has a, he has a style which is called in like a pin. Huh? Which means when you come to the first time meeting people, you don't say, we have this really, really big program and we want to do all this stuff. No, it's just like, Hare Krishna, you know. <laughs> uh, 
you know, we, we have a few monks and a little ashram, and we'd like to take a look at maybe what we could do. And, you know, a very humble approach. And to, to find out what are their needs and expectations. It's not like we want to impose our idea on these other people. But we want to find out if, if they have a need or if they have an appreciation for the same kind of things that we want to do. And if it would be a good fit, if it would be a good match. Then we can come up and say, oh, yes, well, we're doing this and we're doing that. And you might find this useful. And, oh, yeah, we have one of those. And you can, you know, we can cooperate together and whatever. Um, so it really, it's more important to listen than to, you know, push our ideas. So we want to go around to many different schools and then find out, you know, wh who is the most receptive? Who would really uh, benefit from our, of course, they would all benefit, but, you know, we, we don't want to come into, I mean, when I was in India, I've been over, all over the world too, people have this idea of Americans as being very, very pushy. And so we, we, we want to be totally the opposite and really surprise them, you know, because they're expecting, you know, Texan or something, you know. Oh, we got the biggest program and it's the best thing you ever had. And, you know, this little here, little old town here in South India could really benefit from our, you know, we're not, you know, we're not going to come on like that. It's just the opposite. You know, if anything, it's better to be too, too reticent and too slow. Uh, because, of course, they're also looking for their own benefit. Okay? So we want to know that what are they, what is their idea? What is their conception? What do they want from us? What are they trying to get from us? <laughs> and then we can work out something that's beneficial to both sides. Okay? That's the thing. R rather than get all caught up in our you know, in having a big plan and, or a rigid kind of approach, we want to be very flexible and see what, what's going to work out. Mother Swati, you had a question? Huh? Yes, please. Babaji, my question was related to the Prashadam distribution program. Um, do you want to um, have that Execute it through the local temple so that there is a better relationship uh, established between uh, your ashram and the local temple? Or? That's precisely the point. See, if we're in a town, I mean, look at it from their point of view. Here's these Americans and, and Europeans and so on coming. And compared to the local people, they have a lot of money. And, they're, you know, we're going to be automatically famous. I know from experience, anywhere we go. Um, so the, the local Brahmins and priests, of the local temple people, are going to be very threatened by this. They're going to think, well, what if these guys come in and try to take over, you know? So what we want to do is, is reassure them that we, we not only uh, respect them, we need them. We need them to to deal with the local people, and we want to help them, okay? So we don't want to interfere with what they're doing. We want to add something to what they're doing, you know? And uh, so we would give them, like, complete administrative control over the program, even to, down to deciding who gets tickets. And basically, we just want to fund it, you know? And everybody loves something like that, where they feel like they're in control and they're getting free money, you know, and they can really do something good. And because they know the community, we don't know. They know the people, they know the customs, they know the whole scene. Uh, so this is a way for us, yeah, to, to build up good relations with the community, but it's also a way to distribute lots and lots of prasadam. And of course, people who take prasadam automatically become spiritually advanced. And they get uh, so many opportunities for further advancement uh, due to taking the Lord's mercy, right? What was that?
Muslim? Well, like again, like I said, I'm not so concerned with like converting people or making disciples. That's another thing I want to convince the local priests and and like that that we're not here to like make disciples. You see, our audience is international, and it's on the internet. So we're coming here for a retreat. We want to get away from that nasty Western culture and come to a place like this, which is so nice and so Vedic. So um, we're, that's one of the things we want to convince them that we're not, we're not there to preach. We may have some programs, but they would be very small, intimate, and maybe just, you know, among people that we know.